guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel, It's Simple Made Pretty. In this video, I'm sharing some affordable bee decorations you can make using Dollar Tree supplies. First project we're going to make is a Dollar Tree DIY bee wreath. Here are the supplies that you'll need, and most of these items are available at Dollar Tree. First thing I made for this wreath is a beehive or bee skep, and I used a wooden egg from Dollar Tree and some rope, which I unraveled so there's three different pieces that are um, tied together in this Dollar Tree rope so you just need to unravel them and you'll actually get more root for your money and if you don't have a wooden egg like I'm using here you can just cut a egg or curve shape out of um, a cardboard box which I do show you in another video in this um, in this video collection and so I just took my glue gun and I just started wrapping um, all the way around this egg to create the little beehive that I was going for and then once I had everything attached I made a little loop at the top and then I'm also going to make a little door on the front also using the same rope and then I'm going to cut the bottom of my egg off actually because um, I felt like I didn't really need to use it and you can use any regular um, good pair of scissors to cut this wood um, but I will say that using the wood from Dollar Tree made this bee skep a lot more durable like you could just use this on its own um, I did glue it to my wreath so um, in, in the future if I want to take it off I can just easily take it off and use it somewhere else in my home decor and um, so that's why I'm you know using the wood it's actually going to make it a lot more durable um, but like I said I do show you how to make one of these using cardboard and that one was pretty durable too and so I just took the rope and I glued it to the bottom to just kind of finish off the look I was going for. And then I made a little door on the front using the same rope. And I, I was trying to size it to make it look like my bee from the Dollar Tree was going to be able to fit inside. So that's why um, I was placing him next to it to see what size I wanted this door to be. And this little metal bee is from Dollar Tree, and you can find it in the garden section for spring. And they have other um, other uh, um, animals, <laughs> insects too. Um, they have a, a ladybug and a frog and a butterfly too. So if you want to make similar projects if they don't have the bee. Now, um, I used some a buffalo plaid ribbon and then yellow ribbon. If you don't have buffalo plaid ribbon at your Dollar Tree, you could try using a scarf, um, anything that you can find in this pattern. And what I used for the wreath form was a pool noodle that I used duct tape together and wrapped it in burlap. And then once I wrapped all my ribbon and my flowers together, I stuck the little bee scap right on front using my glue gun and I took apart the little bee sign so that it said welcome kind of separately and the bee looked like he was appearing to fly into the little bee skep hive. And um, you can find all of these supplies at Dollar Tree just to make some cute affordable home bee decorations. <laughs> For this next DIY, we're making this bee farmhouse sign. Here are the supplies you need to make this Dollar Tree bee sign. To make this sign, you'll need some five gallon paint sticks, a Dollar Tree foam board, you can also use MDF plywood, um, and also a cardboard box. Now I just had one of these plywood signs just already made sitting in my garage, and so that is what I'm using for my blank sign. I took some alphabet letters and I spelled out the words welcome to our hive and I painted them black and then here I'm making another bee scap just like in my last video and I'm showing you how to use it a cardboard box to make one of these and I'm doing the same thing as the last video where I'm just wrapping this Dollar Tree rope around it and I've unraveled the rope so I'm making kind of like the thin rope layers for the hive and um 
what I'm going to do with this hive is I am going to show you how to make a door, but I essentially used a heart chart board tag from Dollar Tree as my door because I just wanted something a little bit different. But if you don't have those at your local store, you could just keep the door and that's why I'm showing you how to make the door. And again, I'm using a little Sharpie marker or black paint to color inside of it. And what I'm doing also with this one is kind of manipulating it and bending it so that it looks like a 3D hive. And so that way it's kind of popping out from my sign. And I took the same bees that you can find in the garden section at Dollar Tree. And I took off like their chains and um, the little wind chimes. And I'm using the same daisies from my last wreath and arranging it on my sign. And for the letters, I'm just going to use um, tacky glue to glue them because it holds really well. There's no need to use a glue gun, but for the other items that because they're a little bit bulkier, I use my glue gun to attach them to my sign. And then it makes it this cute little 3D sign that just pops in your home decor. <laughs> In this DIY, I'm making a Dollar Tree tea towel pillow. Here are the supplies you need to make this bee pillow. This DIY is super simple. You just need to place the right sides of this tea towel together and sew the um, two corners of it. I use my sewing machine to make things go faster, but you could also use needle and thread or a glue gun. And once you turn it right side out, you can place your pillow inside. I'm using a pillow from Dollar Tree Spot. It was a perfect size. And then I just took my needle and thread and I just tacked the ends of mine closed because I know I'm not going to keep this cover on this pillow forever and I wanted to be able to just remove it at a later time. But I also wanted the ends to be closed so it wasn't the pillow um, popping out of the case. So this is just an easy DIY with Dollar Tree tea towels. Don't forget to check out my video from last year where I share how to make all of these additional Dollar Tree Honeybee DI decorations. And you can also find these printable stamp book covers in my shop with the bee and spring theme. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more projects like this. Bye!